Welcome once again, all you fans of fictional fisticuffs, to another hypothesized head-to-head -head on Grudge Match Unlimited. The show that sets some of our favorite characters against one another to find out what would happen if they crossed the dimensional divide to try to beat down their opponents. Today's episode finds us comparing two magical miscreants who always seem to come out on top. The Hellblazer of DC Comics, John Constantine, and the supernatural sleuth from Chicago, Harry Dresden. These two characters have a lot in common in that they seem like regular working class blue collar Joes and they don't seem to be the big time magic powerhouses a lot of the other super wizards in the various fictional universes tend to. These are not your Merlin-esque type wizards with the long white beards and the flowing robes and the stirring the cauldron in a dark moldy castle. No, in fact, these two mages are modern-day magicians who live in a realistic world in modern day and can pass seamlessly in with the rest of humanity, but they have magical powers backing them up and use those magical abilities to always seem to come out on top even though they're not big-time magical powerhouses. Taking a look at John Constantine first, created in 1984, and first appearing in a Swamp Thing comic for DC Comics. John Constantine has been a player in the magical realms of the DC Universe for about 30 years now. He is the epitome of an intelligent magic user. He's not just brimming with all kinds of magical powers and says a few magic words and can create virtually any effect. No, in fact, he doesn't seem to have a lot of raw magical energy, but he knows practically everything there is to know about magic, and he has access to a lot of enchanted objects and magical weaponry that he can use in place of raw magic talent himself. He is skilled in a few magical areas, including being able to create curses and magical warding spells, so he can draw like protection circles around himself that have a magical barrier to them, and he also has access to a lot of really powerful magical weaponry. Now this comes by way of the House of Mystery that he owns. It's a magical house that can travel through dimensions and to practically anywhere on any plane of existence. It houses many powerful magical artifacts and weaponry, as well as his entire cadre of demons who work for him. And so he can call this to him at any time, he can travel inside of it. It also has spells and curses placed upon it so that any time anybody sets foot into the House of Mystery, that puts them sort of under John Constantine's spell. He can call them back to that place whenever he wants, and he has a certain measure of control over them. Even without his access to the House of Mystery, Constantine is still a very dangerous opponent in any respect, and that comes by way of him being highly intelligent, very, very crafty, and a very accomplished con man and con artist. He can basically talk anybody into anything. He can talk his way out of practically any situation, which negates the need for high-level magic and sorcery skills. This craftiness and intelligence has led him to be the current leader of the Justice League Dark series, a grouping of powerful magical characters in the DC Universe, and though it can be argued that Constantine has the least raw power of any of them, he is the most dangerous because of how smart and crafty he happens to be. Harry Dresden, the protagonist of the Dresden Files book series written by Jim Butcher, was first created in 2000. Dresden is a private detective in the city of Chicago and often finds himself taking on cases of a somewhat supernatural nature and using his magical abilities to aid him in doing so. He has been a magic user all, pretty much all of his life. He was born to powerful magicians and his powers first manifested when he was a child. He's developed them all throughout his life and he has a fairly high degree of raw magical power at his disposal, but he doesn't have a lot of fine control over it. He's been heard to remark that he has certain problems controlling finer magic, but he makes up for that in a high degree of raw magical power, so he sort of just blitzes his opponents with the magical abilities that he has. Now he extends this magical power through a use of several magical artifacts himself. 
He has a staff that he constantly carries with him, blasting rod that can fire off certain spells and attack spells, a shield bracelet that can create magical force fields around himself, and both of these characters are known by their signature coats. John Constantine wears the traditional trench coat, and it's warded against magical spells, so it works as a magical armor, as is Dresden's coat. He wears a darker duster that is also warded against magical attacks. So while these guys both look sort of like they're just wearing street clothes, they're actually well protected against magical attacks. Now, Dresden has the ability to actually utilize spells to a wide variety of effect in the way Constantine doesn't generally do. By reciting Latin phrases, he can produce a wide variety of effects, everything from illusion casting to basic sorcery, command of the elements, teleportation to some degree, all kinds of various magical abilities that he utilizes through spells and incantations. So while these two characters have a lot in common, there are some critical differences between them, not only in the way they wield their abilities, but their personalities and how they approach the enemies they have to deal with. But the most critical differences tend to be that Dresden tends to have more raw magical ability that he can call on to produce more powerful magical spells and effects. Constantine tends to be the craftier and wittier of the two, as well as having better access to a wider assortment of magical enchanted objects and weaponry through being able to utilize the House of Mystery. So having taken a look at the skills, abilities, and personalities of these two magical characters, it's time to determine who would win if they were to ever find themselves colliding in one-on-one -on -one competition. That winner's going to be... John Constantine. While it is true that Harry Dresden has more pure, raw, magical energy to draw upon to create a wider assortment of more powerful attack spells, one of the things John Constantine does excel at is creating wards to protect himself, not only the ones that are built into his trench coat, but also ones he can draw around himself at any particular moment to create magical barriers to protect himself against such attacks. So he's got very good defense against magical attacks that are levied against him. And once you bring in the House of Mystery, which is an incredibly potent weapon and tool to bring into a fight, it becomes very heavily tipped in John Constantine's favor. He can call it to him no matter where he happens to be, even in any other dimension he happens to find himself in, it can locate him and he can either drop it out of the sky on an opponent, simply crushing them underneath it, but even if he doesn't do that, if he runs into the house and Dresden follows, that instantly puts Dresden under John Constantine's control to a certain degree, as anyone who steps foot into the House of Mystery becomes a pawn of Constantine's abilities. Add to that all the magical weaponry and artifacts that Constantine keeps in the House of Mystery, and that further tips the scales in Constantine's favor. So, he's going to come out on top. The Hellblazer of DC Comics is going to take home the win of this grudge match Unlimited. Message me down below. Let me know what you think of the outcome of this fight, as well as any suggestions for future matches. We'll see you next time on the next edition of Grudge Match Unlimited.